Honestly, teaching yourself something is so easy because you're the person who knows what you want to know, you know? What's up, homegrown filmmakers? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Annie Pulling Sweat, and I have been teaching myself filmmaking for several years now, and I've been sharing what I've been learning so that we can all be learning together. And today, I just thought I'd share a little bit about what I've been thinking about. So I was having a conversation with a friend of mine the other day, and we were talking about how do you get started learning about filmmaking. Filmmaking is such a broad subject and there's so many different things within filmmaking that you can do. You know, you can study writing or cinematography or acting or sound design. There's so many different things uh, that are a part of filmmaking. So how do you know where you should start? This may be the most obvious answer, but start with what sounds interesting to you, what sounds fun to do. Filmmaking is a really demanding profession if you get into it professionally. You know, there's a lot of long hours, there's a lot of hard work, and it's uh, demanding creatively. So you really have to enjoy what you do in filmmaking, and that's the best place to start. And it's totally fine if you change your mind and you want to try something else out that sounds interesting. It's a process to find where you want to be, what your strengths are in filmmaking, and where you're the most comfortable. So once you've narrowed down from the broad subject of filmmaking to a specific area that you want to get experience in, that allows you to get specific in the research that you do. And you can get a very basic idea of what's involved in that area very quickly once you have specific research. If it's cinematography, you can do you know top tips for beginning cinematographers or what I need to know um, to start shooting with a camera. And then you get into cameras and what kind of cameras do you need and how do cameras work. And and it just allows you to just go down the learning hole for that subject. And while doing that basic research, what happens is you get inspired to actually go out and do stuff. You're creating experience for yourself. You put together projects, you just do testing on what you want to do, try out things, get experience because getting experience allows you to learn what you don't know. Again, the problem when someone approaches learning filmmaking or even learning one of these subjects is that they don't know enough specifics to ask the right questions. So the more experience you get, the more you'll know what questions to ask to start filling in the holes that you see in your education. If there are certain things that really bother you about whatever you're doing, I just can't get this right and this always looks wrong, then you can start researching those specific things and you get really specific answers that's how you grow and that's how you continue to educate yourself once you feel like you've kind of grasped one area of filmmaking you'll often find an interest in another area of filmmaking and continue to broaden your skills broaden your knowledge of filmmaking and that's where you want to go you really want to start with one thing at a time learn it start to put it into practice, get experience, and then start adding things. It's really hard to learn everything at once. It's much better to do one thing at a time. This goes for broad subjects like writing, cinematography, sound design, acting. Those are very broad, but it can also go for very specific skills within those as well. You know, if you are a writer and you feel very stuck on like dialogue, then you can intentionally create a project that has a lot of dialogue in it so that you can get a lot of practice. This is actually one of the best experiences that you can get. Take something that you really feel stuck on, build a project around learning how to do it, learning how to do it well, and learning how to do it efficiently, and you'll get so much experience at that one thing, you'll get unstuck, it won't be a problem for you again, and you can move on to the next problem. Learning a new thing is hard work, but if it's something that you really enjoy, it can be so much fun, and it's fun to be able to look back and see how much you've grown and how much you've learned. To keep learning, you just need to keep doing new things. Try new things. When you do the same thing over and over again, you just get comfortable in it and you tend to get a little lazy in it. So keep your skills sharp and keep pushing yourself forward. You need to be mentally checking yourself for what sounds interesting, what sounds new. You know, that's your thought process constantly. Let's do something different. 
let's do something new. What new thing have you learned recently? What area are you breaking into? How are you pushing your learning forward? Because that's what you always want to be doing. Well, that's all that I have for you guys today. Feel free to leave a comment below on how you got started in filmmaking and what you learned first. I would love to hear your stories. Keep doing new things and keep making cool projects. I'm Annie Palinklet and I'm a homegrown filmmaker. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.